and welcome to GMAT Tuesdays. My name is Kevin, and this is Bartholomew. He is here to help teach. Bartholomew, say hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, he's actually not here to teach. Uh, let's get down to business. Um, so, today we're starting um, with a very general topic, something that's great for people who've just started uh, their GMAT preparation, and they're just cur curious about the questions that are on the GMAT. So this is a very intro level video, something that's great if you're just starting out. Um, so let's go through the sections of the test and talk, talk about the different questions that you'll see. So the first thing you'll see on the test is the analytical writing section. Um, you're gonna have 30 minutes to write an essay. Um, that analyzes an argument. Uh, there's gonna be different flaws in the argument and you're gonna wanna point out those flaws and explain why they're flaws. After that, you're gonna have the integrated reasoning section. Um, in this section, uh, you're gonna have 12 questions um, and you're gonna have graphs and charts and passages that you'll need to read um, and analyze in order to answer those 12 questions and you'll also have 30 minutes for that section as well. Then uh, you're either gonna have a quant section, so quantitative section, or a verbal section. Um, it could happen in any order. Uh, I just happen to have the quant uh, board next, so that's what I'm gonna go over. Um, you'll have 37 questions in the quant section, and you have 75 minutes to answer all of those questions. Um, within the quant section, you're gonna see two different uh, question types. One that's super unique to the GMAT is the data sufficiency questions. These are very particular to the GMAT and really require some preparation. You can't just dive in and start answering these questions. You really need to know what the answer choices are saying um, and understand how to approach these problems in a very specific way. Um, you'll have somewhere between 14 to 16 of those questions. Um, and then uh, you'll also have problem solving questions, 21 to 23 of these. And these tend to be more traditional uh, math questions where you have uh, five possible answer choices and you're solving math problems. Um, so the problem solving questions and the data sufficiency questions can be intermixed. Uh, they're not all gonna be chunked together. Um, so it's gonna change uh, after you answer a question. You might start with a problem solving question and then move to a data, su data sufficiency question and then back. Um, all right, the other section you'll see is the verbal section. There are 41 questions in this section and you have 75 minutes for that section as well. And then you're gonna have three different question types um, in this section. They are reading comprehension, critical reasoning, and sentence correction. Um, these are gonna be evenly dispersed, so you'll have about the same amount for each. And um, again, they're gonna be uh, jumbled up. They're not gonna come in big chunks together. It's not gonna be all critical reasoning and then all sentence correction. Uh, it'll be all mixed about. Um, everything uh, that I've talked about here, plus your two breaks, plus sort of the security procedures that you need to go to when you show up to uh, the testing center will take about four hours. Um, uh, probably maybe a little bit more than four hours. So that is what you're getting into. All right, those are the basics of GMAT question types. If you have any questions about this, feel free to write us a comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you wanna know more about GMAT prep and how to prepare, head over to gmat.magoosh.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll find out when the next video is released. All right, be excellent to the universe and I'll see you next Tuesday. Say bye.